all skin cancers and melanomas are caused by the sun, but sun exposure is a big risk factor in developing skin cancer. So it's all it's very important that we protect our skin from the sun every day. And so we wanted to give you our best sun protection tips, including using an SPF 30 every single day before you leave the house, as well as using a 50 um, if you're going to be outside for prolonged periods. It's not just on sunny days or in the middle of the right. summer, right? Do right. you wear skin, some sort of skin yeah. block every I day? I do. Yeah, yeah, I put on sunscreen on my face every day and then put it on in my body. What do you like out. when you golf? What do I what do you like? Wear, yeah, what do you wear when you golf? Because this is my what favorite. Level? This is my favorite 30. golf sunscreen for people. What's cause, that? Because it's a stick. So sunscreens oh. can come oh, cool. in sprays, sticks, powders, all sorts of things. But for my golfers, I love this because it's easy to kind of yeah. wipe on. You don't get it on your hands. So this is what I have all my golfers put in their golf bag. But great for kids, too. And um, it's a 50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and the roll-on's as effective as the cream. Absolutely. And don't forget to reapply because sunscreen wears out after 80 minutes or sweating. When or I come activities. see you, give me one of those for They're John. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for, for sure. Great for him. Men love that. John's not a very good golfer. Her, but yeah. he does love to <laughs> attempt to golf. What you're saying is he's out in the sun a long time when he's yeah. on the golf course, huh? So he really a very long yeah. time. <laughs> And then, <laughs> then the other big tip we have is apply it before you go outside, especially if you're going to be swimming, put it under your swimwear because swim, swimwear doesn't protect you from the sun. In I fact, did not know that. Right through it. it goes right yeah. through it. Yeah, so you have to make sure you get it everywhere and put your, your swimsuit on. Okay? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that yeah, either. Keep that in mind as well. I'm so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't forget all those spots that people forget, like your hands, your ears. Yeah. Um, and people always ask me how much to put on. So a tablespoon is about the right amount for a body part. So for all your arms, you need a tablespoon. Yeah, that's not the whole body. Not the whole body, but for each the trunk body of your body, part, a idiot. tablespoon. An arm is a tablespoon. An arm, gotcha. tablespoon. Perfect. I want those little swipey things. And what's this? <laughs> this is, is this spray is a powder. So this is a great, you know, when you're running out to lunch and maybe you know you need to just reapply Shut some sunscreen. Up. It'll just brush it on. It's for you. ladies. Yeah. It's yeah. powder. <laughs> it's sunscreen powder <laughs> with a little brush, like who to do? Like, yeah. <laughs> oh. So what do we need people to really know about melanoma? Go get checked. Yeah, if you see a suspicious spot, don't wait. Like you said, right. don't, don't hesitate to ask your doctor. I'm always happy to see someone if they have a spot. Um, it's really important to get checked and, sooner, and treated early. Rather than later, mm -hmm. right? Troy, your last thoughts for people? What do you want to say to Well, them? I think like she said, sun prevention obviously is very, very important. Sunscreen, but also do go get checked. And if you have been diagnosed with melanoma, be proactive. There's a lot of different different mutations. There's different ways that it can be treated. And you be checked more frequently, Be right? checked regularly. I go every six months. I have yep. it on my calendar to go in and get checked. And, and I got involved in a campaign called Melanoma Just Got Personal. And it's a resource for those who have been diagnosed and also their support group to go and learn as much information about the disease as they possibly can. And check out our Facebook page for more. Cool. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you. Uh, again, May is Melanoma Month, so why don't you go to your dermatologist, get ready for the sunny season that's ahead of us. Thanks again to Troy, of course, and to my doctor, Dr. Chappas.